I received this package from Caseify, the world's number one tech accessory brand. I've actually been testing them for a while and I've already dropped my phone multiple times. I'm happy to report that my phone is alive and well. The cases are super sleek and slim while boasting 9.8 feet of drop protection because of the Qi Tech 2.0 material it's made out of. Wireless charging is also not an issue. Another thing I love about Caseify is the aesthetic. There are so many designs, collaborations, and capabilities for customizations. There's no way you can't find some Something that perfectly expresses you. As someone who's super obsessed with the Y2K aesthetic right now, I absolutely love these beaded accessories and phone straps that Caseify currently offers. I think the designs I got from my cases are a nice mix of modern and Y2K. I'm obsessed with the butterfly print. Another thing that I love about Caseify is that the cases are made out of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. The packaging is also recyclable. You can head to the link in my description for a discount on your next favorite phone case. Or just go to caseify.com slash this is the iPod I had as a kid. Me and my mom actually had matching ones. She had a really pretty purple one and of course, pink for me. Unfortunately, this no longer runs without being plugged into a power source and the buttons are not really working. So I decided to get myself a new iPod. I really, really, really wanted one of the chunky ones. So if you're interested in those, search for the iPod Classics. The one I got is a 6th gen in silver with 80 gigabytes. I found this form factor pretty easy to carry around. I tend to use this when I where I read on my Kindle. The beauty and the problem of listening to music on your phone with wired earbuds, it's so easy to connect to social media. So when I'm on my iPod with wired earphones, I don't get distracted. I know self-discipline is a thing, but if I had that, this channel wouldn't exist. To get music onto my iPod, all I did was connect it to my laptop. I got my files through YouTube to MP3 online downloaders, and then I imported them into Apple Music. This is so they can have album and song covers. The process is really easy and seamless. Don't be intimidated by it. I have my girls, new jeans, and of course, Taylor Swift. She was in my old iPod. She's going to be in my new one, of course. Now, when I first got my iPod, I could actually not test it because I had no earphones. All the ones I could find, like in the bottom of drawers and boxes, they look diseased. So, no thank you. I decided to get these ones. There were some reviews of it on TikTok. If you're asking for my personal review and recommendation, their earphones, they work and they're cheap. There isn't anything else of note besides the fact that their aesthetic is actually pretty cute. I love that it's clear or transparent. It's so 2000. Side note, I've also been trying to look for some iPod speaker docks. The problem is I can't find any that are cute and clean. Speaking of clean, in order to keep the aesthetic up, of course, I decided to get myself a clear case for this. I've learned while working with a bunch of old gen consoles that I absolutely hate clear hard cases. They're so difficult to remove. But for some reason, there aren't really any options for some jelly or silicone ones. I'm just making sure it's clean before putting it in the case because a smudge or dust would annoy me. Off screen, I put some stickers. Overall, I genuinely enjoy bringing this iPod around with me. There's just a certain charm about owning a dedicated device. It's the same charm that a Kindle carries. It's not a perfect solution, but it's definitely helpful help curb my short attention span ever so slightly. Last, it's aesthetic, it's cute, that's it. So now you may be wondering, Chani, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what did you just buy? Well, you see, I enjoyed the iPod so much that I wanted a smaller one. This is the iPod Nano 6th generation with 16 gigabytes. I was roughly around 10 years old when these came out. I wasn't super into music. I had my heart and my eyes set on the iPad 2. But I remember some of my bus mates who were high school age, they had them. You may have noticed that the Nano actually has a clip on the back. That's how it was like initially advertised for people to clip it on their clothing when they go out for a run or walk around, etc. My busmates, however, and a lot of other people, they wore it on their wrists. Companies would actually produce cases where there would be two watch straps on either side and people would just like plop it in and wear it like a watch. The songs here are actually super nostalgic to me. I was born in 2002, so these are the songs I grew up with. Some of these were actually introduced to me by those high schoolers I mentioned earlier. There was this one girl who was obsessed with this, Beautiful Soul by Jesse McCartney, and she kept playing it over and over again. And as a result, I also got obsessed. Compared to the iPod Classic, I definitely don't love this iPod as much. Unlike other iPods with tactile feedback through their buttons, you can't navigate this without looking. The battery life is also so sad compared to the Classic, but it is small and convenient to carry around. Thank you so much for watching my video. Ingat, ingat. Bye!